it's good. I mean, it's, it's good. for safety reasons. For safety reasons, we have too many issues now that yeah. everybody had to take care about it. Yeah, I agree, completely agree. Yeah. It's unfortunate that we have to have restrictions like that today. I mean, you never really know because toy guns can look real or real guns can look like toys. So you, I don't think it's out of line given the global environment to kind of take all the precautions that they're taking. I think it's understandable, but at the same time, the blasters are not the same as guns in real life. And I think audiences and fans and everybody else can understand a distinction between a real weapon and a blaster from the Star Wars universe. I probably wouldn't want to carry one anyways just because I'd probably worry about losing it because <laughs> it'll be crowded, it'll be packed. So it's hard to say, like they're, they're pretty fake looking so I don't know what the difference would be. You might need this. We want the experience of coming to the film to be at the, just that, an experience. So we are encouraging fans to dress up, um, to bring their friends, and to really make the most of the experience of seeing the film in the theater. Um, we have had a long-standing policy about wearing masks and covering your face, so, so we, we won't be allowing that in our theaters. Uh, for obvious reasons, it's a, it's a safety concern when you're walking up and down the stairs in the darks. While we do have the lights on the, on the corridor, it could present a safety concern. And then toys or props will also be reviewed on an individual basis, um, theater to theater, for, for safety reasons as well. The easiest way is by rule of thumb, if you're able to keep your toy or your prop on your lap and it won't have to be at your feet, that's while you're watching the movie, that's a, that's a good idea. Um, and if, if you don't think that it can, then it might be best just to leave it at home. That I can kind of understand. I mean, if, if it's a properly made costume, they should be able to take the mask off. Because I know when I do costumes, I make it so I can get out of it really quickly if I need to. Um, and if it's like the 501st, they know how to get out of their stuff quickly. So if they're going into the theater, they probably have it on beforehand and then take it off as soon as they go in, I'm assuming. So as long as people are smart about it. That I haven't heard of before, but that to me seems a bit extreme. I don't think the restrictions are necessary. I think the fans are dedicated enough to know what they're doing when they wear these helmets. I support any safety idea for everybody to enjoy the show in a equally, you know? You don't need it to see them enjoy the movie. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, you, the most comfortable you can be, it's the better for everybody. Thank you.